you nailed that rod. Thank you so much. Hi everybody, welcome to Off Our Needles. I'm Jody. I'm Tracy, and we are the Grocery Girls. And guess what time it is? Knit along time, my I, favorite. I do love, this time it's a sideways tee for spring. It's a brand new pattern, it's called the Novel Tee, and it's by Lauren Elkin, and I learned so much knitting this. First of all, I've never knit with cotton. Yeah. Have you? No, I haven't, and actually, we're wearing the novelty yeah. today because yeah. we did finish our knitting already so that we can guide everybody through this pattern. Well, we sort of thought, but because it was a bit different of a knit, we would we would knit it first so we could talk about it during yeah. the cow. Absolutely. Yeah, we just thought we could show you guys how to modify it and what the construction looks like near the end. And we've got a special coupon of 50% off for this kit. It's in the description box below. Let's get knitting. So this is a fairly simple t-shirt design, and you knit it flat, but it is seamless because we join it at the end. I thought this was interesting because it's like nothing I'd ever seen before. It was really, really fun. Yes. I love the way Laura has us put this together. So we start actually at the smallest point, which is the sleeve. So you cast on here. She gave us just some sort of insight into her thought process when she was you know, designing and constructing this sweater. And it was really interesting. Yeah, because Laura is very well known for tons of her shawl design, right? So the idea for this type of construction actually came when she was designing some shawls. She realized that if you use a separate panel, work the same time like you work the heel of a toe, yes. up sock, you can join the two pieces together. Yeah, right? and, and make it a decorative, beautiful element in the pattern, well, which is she's definitely doing. what's going on in the novelty. She's actually got a bunch of garments that include this type of yeah. design. And there's, there, it's seamless, but the way it's constructed and the way you knit sideways, it holds its shape, which is what we want. We wanna look really good in this when it's done. What I thought was very cool about this is that you're not knitting back and forth like right. you like you you know traditional knitting top up or bottom down yes no. bottom up or top down <laughs> you, you know what I meant I totally got it okay so she has you knitting back and forth starting here at the sleeve yes and then you're knitting you cast on a bunch of stitches after you've done the sleeve and you're knitting back and forth you are. You're knitting yeah. up the front, down the back, back and forth, right, to create yeah. the shape of your t-shirt. And then at the end, you're back with just a few stitches on your sleeve. I thought this was really, really fun and really different. I've never knit a garment like this. I really liked when you split for the for the neck yeah. and then you're knitting. It was really interesting. You added another ball and you yeah. kept going. And then the fun part for me was the side panel. I loved yeah. joining the front and doing some lace and joining the back. And it really, you just zip up and before you know it, you have a seamless garment. Well, and I think I like this sides more because it was the end. <laughs> right? You always get excited when you're near well, the end of a project. I, I am a product knitter. So these, you know, these rows got long and then so you sort of got to the end here and then you were joining. It was like the end and you got to have an item in your Yeah, and I do. And I love the way we were knitting like this because it was all about keeping the shape of the garment. There was a reason Laura had us knit these long ropes, yeah. right? And we trust you, Laura. We totally do. She knows a few things. So how do you know what size to pick for the novelty? Laura tells us in the pattern she wants about four inches of positive ease, which means you'll have about two inches extra of extra fabric on either side of the garment. So that means if your bust measures 48, yes. your finished garment will be 52. Yes, yeah. so you'll have a little bit of wiggle room. It won't be super close fitting. It won't be really, really tight. So smart, someone's done it for Somebody, us. Somebody, I love it. Can okay. I just say, if I knew how much math was in knitting, I may never have picked up a ball of yarn. I know, that's why we're not designing. For real. Okay, so modifications. So yeah. this is where I think us having this item knit and finished can be a huge benefit for you guys because we can talk about modifications. Tips and tricks, because we did yeah. modify ours a little bit. Laura tells you in the pattern how to modify for length, and you just cast on some extra stitches in the pattern, and Jody and I did. We both did that. We added a couple of inches in length in ours, so that made our rows even a little bit longer yeah. when we were knitting. I actually knew that this isn't my favorite. My wing flap isn't my favorite area. Can you so, see how long my sleeves are? 
I uh, <laughs> wanted to add a few more pattern repeats when I started, and then I made sure I added the repeats at the end so my sleeve was gonna be longer. If you modify anything, you have to make sure you give really good notes for yourself on your pattern. This is where you write it in at the beginning, and at the end, if you modify your sleeve, write it in again so that you don't forget and you get two different lengths. Because I'm the type of person that will cast off and go, what? It's true. one is this and one is this, it's right? True. But I mean, look at it in the pattern. It is gorgeous exactly the way that it's written. Yeah. So she's got a shorter sleeve and a little bit of a shorter. It's actually fitted like a t-shirt. It's really, really beautiful. It's a great shape that I think is really flattering on a lot of sizes. Because yeah. we're not slim. So this isn't like a fitted, yes. you know, to your I, body I shape. I personally was avoiding the fitted. So I did more of a tunic with a sleeve. Yeah. But you can do whatever you want. That is one of the joys of knitting your own garments. And one thing that's also super, super important with this is because it's knit the way it's knit, you're not gonna have as much wiggle room when it comes to blocking yes. right which is why swatching is so important yeah we talk about swatching being super important and yeah. some sweaters you can get away with it because there's so much positive ease yes. but because this is knit back and forth this way in this direction you guys want to make sure you're bang on yeah you just pick your size and stick yeah. with it because there's not a lot of modifying in size once you get going yes right yeah Time for the good part. Let's talk yarn. Let's talk yarn. Cotton, Pima cotton. This was this is knit in the Cloudborn Pima cotton DK. So I've never knit a garment no. in it, but I've knit a shawl in it, and I love this yarn. So we hope we didn't lose you when we heard the word cotton, because I know there's a lot of people out there that don't love cotton. But we've talked about this Pima cotton before, you guys. You are going to be a reformed cotton knitter. I think so. And I mean, honestly, there's people with wool sensitivity, so this is probably gonna be right up their alley. It is a beautiful cotton yarn to work with with a gorgeous rainbow of colors, which I love. But look at the sheen. Wouldn't you think there was something like silk in it? It's a beautiful, beautiful cotton to work with. I loved knitting with it. And you know how with wool, you can, when you're done the end, you can just, like that? Yes. I thought, I just about ripped my fingers off trying to <laughs> trying to pull apart the cotton. There's this thing called scissors. I know, but uh, usually you can break it with your hand. Yeah, no, very, very tough. Don't do it with cotton. Very tough. I loved choosing my color for this, which I always found a little bit difficult. Yeah. I ended up choosing a gray. Kind of a, well, I thought it was gray. I wanted to pick a color that's really going to go into my wardrobe and work with lots of different things. Yeah. So I wanted for this one kind of a neutral. But it's got a real blue to it. I feel like this yeah, is a, a combination of the blue and the, the gray. I, I really love it. And sort of my, I went straight for this. But then I thought, you know, yeah. my wardrobe is so denim, it's so yeah. black, it's so gray. I'm going to pick a color this time that I love. And this is my color. You're wacky. I know, I love it. And don't forget, you guys, there's a 50% off coupon in the description box below. That which, link which is, is down there. Which is a great there. way to try a new yarn and yeah. a new pattern when there's yeah. a kit like that, right? So something important to consider with cotton. Different than knitting with wool. It in is a different. In different ways, right? Yeah. It doesn't have that spring. Yeah. So even knitting it felt a little bit different in my hands. Yeah. I had to get used to the feel of cotton not having that spring and back. you know what you had said it bothered your hands a bit to begin with a little bit um I loved it from the very beginning yeah and that but you know what I it after about a week of knitting with it yeah. my, it was totally normal I just had to adjust yeah. to the new fiber and it was no big deal and it's really great choice for summer right I don't want to knit wool stuff in the summer no it's going to be cool and you guys I'm loving the drape yes right yes and it's super cool I love it and especially the way it's knit, it's gonna keep its shape, which I love. Because sometimes with cotton, it doesn't keep its shape. No. But that's the whole point of the way this is constructed. Yeah. It's gonna keep its shape. Let's talk swatch. Yes, swatching. It's always really important, I think, when you knit a garment, but for this one, because we really want it to fit exactly the right way and because of the yeah. way cotton behaves, I feel like it's even a little bit more important. We're really serious <laughs> this time. We're so serious. Yeah, because but. you're knitting back and forth, you guys, you don't have a lot of room for that adjustment as you're going. So you wanna make sure you're bang on with the gauge yes. before you start. And one thing that's different is your row gauge is going to determine how wide your sweater is. It's not your stitch gauge in this one where you can always kind of add extra stitches or yeah. make something bigger or increase or decrease. It's the rows that are making the width of your sweater. So that's one thing to consider when we're knitting our swatch. So knit a big swatch. You know, a six inch square swatch is gonna give you a lot more information than a little teeny weeny. And guess what? Being cotton, it's gonna be a face cloth. 
Oh, you're, you're right. just <laughs> right. It's cotton. So it totally don't, could don't be. Don't be afraid. This is beautiful cotton for any kind of project like yeah. that too. You're right. Yeah. But one thing that's different with this swatch is Laura asks you to hang it. So I just kind of pinned it to my ironing board and hung a couple of those binder clips or whatever yeah, bow clips and just let it hang and dry that way because that's going to simulate the weight of the garment because cotton can be a little bit it has weight to it. Right? Let it so all hang out. Let it all hang out, people, yeah. and then measure your gauge. Yeah. So the lace in this pattern is one of my favorite elements of the design. It just adds such a feminine little detail. It's, it is my favorite. Too. It is. It's got the great lines of the chevron, so that gives you that cool linear element yeah. with the uh, eyelets, and it's so easy. The charts are beautiful. It's actually pretty easy to memorize. It's so easy, you guys. So it's actually worked over four rows, but the wrong side row is always just purling. Thank you, Laura Nelkin. So really, it's <laughs> yes. a four row repeat that you only have to remember two. Yeah. So after these repeats, two or three, you're good to go. I didn't have to reference the pattern, no. and I'm not really that smart, so. <laughs> it was super oh. easy to memorize. It is, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so I'm going to show you this simple lace. So now I'm gonna work row one of our sleeve lace pattern. So what I'm going to do first is I am going to yarn over and I am going to slip, slip, knit. And I'm going to do that twice. For row one. Yarn over, slip, slip, knit. And then again, yarn over, slip, slip. Get that little guy, slip, slip, knit. And then my next stitch is just a knit. And then the next is going to be knit two together. Yarn over, and then we're gonna repeat that. Knit two together. Yarn over. So that was row one of our sleeve panel. So easy. I'm gonna knit to the end and then purl back to the beginning on the wrong side. Okay, I'm back to my lace pattern on the wrong side. And like I said before, every wrong side is only purling. So that's gonna be super easy to remember. Now we're ready to start row two of our lace pattern. So the first stitch is going to be a knit. The second is going to be a yarn over. And then we're going to slip, slip, knit. Slip, slip. Put those stitches back on your left needle and knit them together. And we're gonna do a yarn over. Now this is where we do our center double decrease to keep that spine so beautifully straight down the middle. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna slip these next two stitches as if to knit, just slip them right off. And then we're going to knit one. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass these two slipped knit stitches over top the last knitted stitch. And what that does is that keeps that middle spine perfectly straight and on the top and it just looks so pretty. And then we're going to do a yarn over. We are going to do a knit two together. Another yarn over. And our final is a knit. So that was that easy. It really is. I mean, you made it look super, super easy. I love the way the simple increases and decreases make that cool pattern like that. It's a beautiful lace repeat. I really, I loved everything about this sweater, but this lace repeat is just so pretty. It is, it's absolutely gorgeous. And yeah. I remember trying to be a little bit, you know, not too tight with those center double decreases, right? So you can really pull them over. I noticed you and I do our yarn overs differently. How? Well, I just do mine a little bit differently than yours. Oh, okay, so apparently there's more than one way to do it. Oh, lots, over. lots. So just do them the way you normally do your yarn overs. Yeah. But I didn't realize that. I don't, you don't normally like look at someone when they're knitting, right? Yeah. Um, I, I end up getting the same product. Apparently. It looks the same. But it's yeah. just, it's just done a little different. The joys of lace, yeah. right? So let's get ready to start knitting. 
Yes. So yes. go ahead and work your sleeve. Pick your size, do your swatch, work yep. your sleeve. And the next time we check in with you guys, we're going to go over the setup for the shoulder rows and look at how to work the split for the neckline because that was really cool too. Okay, so let's just say again, every single thing about this sweater is not difficult. No. Right? No. We want to make sure the people who are maybe beginner sweater knitters, yeah join us too because yeah. that's what's so fun. It's Definitely fun. not tricky. Just no. do your swatch, measure it, pick your size yeah. and get going because we love this yarn. And with the coupon code for the 50% off, you cannot go wrong. You it's can. gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. Don't forget that's in the description box below. It's so much fun to kick off our knit along today with you guys, but we are going to be checking in a few more times over the season. We got course. you covered. We do. Yeah. Lots of fun things coming ahead. Do your swatch, pick your size, get going. I can't wait to see everybody's color choices. And I can't wait to hear about those people who knit a sweater for the very first time. Absolutely. Yeah. Use that coupon code and join us. It's going to be super fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining us today on Off Our Needles, everybody. Happy knitting. Bye.